So in this video, we're gonna cover how to top up your pressure on your combi or your system boiler. So you may need to top up the pressure in your boiler if you've bled a radiator. Sometimes boiler pressure drops over time or it could be an indicator of a fault or a leak in the system. This video is gonna run you through how to top up the pressure on your boiler. System pressure should be at between one and 1.5 on the gauge. You'll generally find the gauge on the front of the boiler or on the underside of the boiler. Now we've located the gauge on our boiler, we need to see what the current pressure is. In this instance, this product has zero pressure in the system and it's actually produced a fault which according to the manual indicates low pressure. Our next step is to locate the filling loop. Filling loops vary from system to system. The most common is a flexible steel hose with one or two black tabs at either end. In this case, the filling loop is located underneath the boiler. If your filling loop isn't connected, you'll just need to connect it by turning the tabs clockwise. On either end of the filling loop, there'll be one or two black tabs. To turn on the filling loop, simply turn the tabs 90 degrees in line with the pipe. As you do this, you'll hear water start to move through the system. Once you've filled the system, simply turn one or both tabs 90 degrees so they're across the pipe. If you accidentally overpressurize the system, you'll need to let some pressure out by bleeding a radiator. Do this until the pressure reaches 1 to 1.5 bar cold. If your boiler presented an error code when it lost pressure, once you've repressurized the system, you may need to reset the product to get the boiler functional again. We hope this video has been useful. If you need any more advice, head over to heatable.co.uk.